Hey everybody, Joe here. If you're like me, you probably use OBS Studio to record a lot of your desktop uh, stuff, about my tutorials and whatnot. Now, the problem with OBS Studio is by default, it uses AAC audio and even set to 320 kilobits per second. I really don't like it. I think it just don't really sound too good. And I like to use record everything in my PCM Wave Audio. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you how you can set that up in OBS Studio. But before we get started, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Backup Pro 14 backs up your data and operating system automatically to all common storage types and cloud services. Always up to date backups take the fear out of hardware failure, OS issues, or malware infections. Don't miss my demo and review of Backup Pro 14. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everyone. Now, before we get to get uh, started here, if you don't see a lot of the options and stuff that I'm actually going to show you, you may need to install FFmpeg. I will link that down in the description below. So that said, let's go over here and get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to actually go down and uh, go down here to where it says audio. Make sure that is set to 48 kilohertz and make sure that your audio device that you got wanting to use is set uh, selected. Like I'm using the Focusrite USB and that's what's going in from audio okay now let's go up here to output now like i said this video isn't about streaming uh streaming you want to use compressed audio as much as possible to save on the overhead now according to the desktop that's a totally complete different uh, you know ball of wax i guess you could say now output mode you will want to make sure you're on advanced now mine is grayed out because i am recording obs with obs a little bit of OBS inception going on here. So if I can move that out of the way, yeah, I'm, I'll try not to do that too often. So yeah, I'm recording OBS with OBS. So that's to grade out. However, it will be there. Uh, if you're setting this up now, go over here. It says audio. Now, you notice these grayed out too. All right. Ignore these. These do not matter when it comes to, uh, you know, a wave audio that 160 bit, 120, uh, 320 kilobit there. That's only if you're using something like AAC or MP3 or something of that nature. It, uh, or many of the other formats and stuff. It does have nothing to do with wave audio. Okay. Go over here to recording. When we go down to recording, make sure you click on type custom output FMMPEG. Like I said before, if you do not have any of these options, when you click on, uh, custom uh, output for FMMPEG, then you need to uh, probably go out and download and install FMMPEG. Now, like I said, that is linked down in the description below. Make sure you do that. Okay, once that is done, you want to says FMMPEG output file, uh, output type, you want to say output to file, uh, the path where you want the recordings to go, obviously. Container format, this is important. You need to choose MOV. A lot of these other container formats like MP4 and stuff will not let you save a PCM Wave Audio file in those. So you need to use MOV. So choose MOV, which is the QuickTime MOV. Video bitrate, I am using 50,000 uh, 50, kilobits per second and with a keyframe interval of 120 uh, frames, which is, so I'm recording it, 60 frames per second is every two seconds. Now, like I said, that's just a video. That's what I'm using, just in case you're interested. That has nothing to do with audio. Now, when it comes down here to the video encoder, I am using H.264 in Vink, using the lib uh, X264. By default, when you actually get this one chosen, it would probably be at a lib, uh, you know, lib X264 default encoder. That would be software. You'll want to go up and choose, you know, H.264 uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Vink, if you use in Vink or AMF if you use an AMD card. That way you get your hardware encoding. Now these two below here are the H.265 ones, you know, the high uh, efficiency video uh, coder, encoder, whatever you call it. And those, I said those H.264. I said I am using the H, uh, H.264 here in Vink. There is another one down here at the bottom. It's just named like different backwards. Uh, OBS, guys, fix that. Let me figure, uh, be a little more descriptive about what these are. So anyway, oops, I accidentally clicked that. Let's go back to output again. 
All right. Like I said, that's the one I'm using. Now it says audio bit rate, 320 kilos per second. And let me point this out. This is not used. It should be grayed out uh, when you get anything uh, else chosen. You know, like if I'm using P uh, PCM Wave Audio, that should not even be an option. It should be grayed out. This, it might confuse somebody. Ignore it. It doesn't matter if it's got three, 320, or 10 million in that spot at the moment. That data is not going to be used because it's not a contributing factor to PCM Wave Audio. So ignore it. That's just left over from when I switched over from AAC audio. All right, make sure your audio track is chose. I always use two for recording here. Okay, now we're getting over to the part we've been waiting for, and that is the, the wave audio stuff. Audio encoder. I am using PCM uh, S, which stands for signed, 32, which means 32 bit, BE, which means big Indian. Now, I'm not going to go in into explaining all these. However, I will post a little flash, a little screen capture from the screen. Let's uh, see a few of them. And I will link this down in the description below so you can figure, uh, read up more on all these. Now, they have a lot of them here. Uh, like I said, sign 24-bit uh, Big Indian, 16-bit Big Indian. They even go uh, have a lot of different options here. Like it has AAC if you wanted to use that. It has FLAC, you know, all these different ones. You want to use the PCM, which is the wave audio. Now, by default, I believe the signed 32 bit uh, BE is the default one. Like I said, they do have a few others up here, like uh, floating, which means the F32 BE. And for what I understand in DaVinci Resolve, the just most recent update will let you use 32 bit floating uh, wave files. However, I haven't tested it out yet because I've been using the signed 32 bit uh, BE, you know. You know, the big Indian one. And they also have little Indian one also. That's Indian, not Indian. Like I said, check out the link down description below. Uh, to the link down FM and Peg. So you can uh, read up on why all the difference all these are. Like I said, I recommend using the, the designed 32-bit BE one. That'll get you the best audio quality possible. And once you got all that done, just click OK. I'm recording, so I'm going to click Cancel. But... That will get you the best audio possible uh, in OBS Studio when you're doing your screen recordings and stuff. So anyway, I hope this little uh, video has been helpful. I know it's a short one, but I thought it'd be really helpful for anybody trying to get the best audio quality possible. If you're really picky like I am, uh, AAC audio just will not cut it when you start to have to do any kind of like post-processing stuff and uh, when you're editing the video, you might resolve or whatnot. So anyway, that's it for this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. Now, if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, unless you know how to release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.